In this video, we'll be discussing about the Mason's gain formula. Now, basically, we have to understand why we are using Mason's gain formula in order to find out the transfer function. Okay, transfer function of the given system whenever signal flow graph is given. Okay, you might have studied the block reduction method. So using that also we can find out the transfer function. Now whenever we have given the signal flow graph, this is the signal flow graph. For, for this we are finding out the overall transfer function. TF means transfer function by using Mason's gain formula. So it is given by what Mason's gain formula in order to find out the transfer function. It is equal to summation of TK into delta K by delta. Now all these terms we will understand. Now K is basically what? K is nothing but the forward parts. Okay. Forward parts. So let us go step by step. There are four totally four steps you need to understand. Let us go directly to the first step. So this is the given signal flow graph. We have to find out first step is to find out the forward parts. So here forward parts means we have to start from a point and we have to go in a one direction unidirectional. Yes. We have to go in one direction. Okay. You cannot change the direction in between. You can see here nodes are given. One, two, three, four, five, six nodes are given. Okay, here six nodes are given. And here G1, G2, G3, these are all gains. Okay, gains. Now here we can see H1, H2, these are all feedback. You can hear correct feedback gains. Okay. So let us now try to understand. Now, as I said, forward path, first step. So let us see in this given, you can see in this signal flow graph, we have two forward paths. Now carefully observe, we'll start from this point. See, you can see over here, G1, G3, G4, G5, G6, directly from this point to this point. Okay. This will be one forward path. You can see the direction arrow mark. You can see going to this part, then, then, then directly to this point this point to this point so we have to start from this point and reach till the this point okay this is the end point now this basically they will write it as r of s and this is c of s r of s is nothing but the input of the given system c of s is the output of the given system so transfer function when you will write you will write it as c of s output by input okay which is given by this formula okay so that is the thing now forward parts we have two k is equal to two k is denoted for the forward path Second forward path, let us observe. So first forward path, you might have understood. This is the first forward path. Second forward path will start from this and will take this direction. You can see this is also going to that side really, right? From left to right, it is going. So it is going to this side and reaching this final point. This is the starting point. This is the ending point. So we have to reach here in one same direction left to right we have to go no observe here this is the second one second one we have drawn here so don't draw this part okay this is not required don't draw this part so starting from here going to this part and reaching here okay so this is this will be the our destination this point now observe here arrows are all the arrows are in the same direction this side this side this side all the arrows you can observe so carefully you have to observe that for our parts all the directions should be in the same side now why can't I take this one if you're going like this then reaching this point this node then you can take this path and from here you can go like this also yes correct going like this taking this path and going like this now this is not the case always remember that you cannot repeat the path see here one repetition of the path is there I'm going this area you can observe this nodes you can observe this two nodes if i start from here i'll reach here then i'll take this path then again i am repeating the same path then i am reaching here so you should not repeat the same path this is also a condition for the forward path okay you can try for this path also starting from here okay you cannot go to this path okay because the direction of this is towards the left side okay towards this side so you can go from here reach this node then taking this direction from this again you can reach here but the thing is that condition is that you should not repeat the same thing so actually for this case you are repeating going like this taking path and again repeating this this three nodes you are again repeating 
three to four nodes okay so you should not repeat the same path that is the criteria for forward path okay just observe carefully and directly you can uh, get the forward paths okay so for first step is to get the forward path for that you have to write t1 t2 you can observe here i have written the formula t k k denotes the forward paths how many forward paths are there two forward paths so i'll write t1 and t2 if there are three forward paths i'll write t1 t2 and t3 also but in this case only two forward paths so for that i have to uh, write the gains how will you write just multiply all the gains because this is in series right you just have to multiply the gains so t1 equal to g1 g3 g4 g5 g6 whatever gains is there you have to just multiply and write then for the t2 second forward path you can take this as first forward path this uh, and uh, this one as second forward path. it doesn't matter okay that's the thing so second forward path you can observe g1 g2 g6 you should not consider these nodes always remember whatever you're going in which path you have to consider that gain only okay so that is the thing g1 g2 g6 so after writing this we have finished the first step next we will proceed to the second step here you can see second step we have to find out the individual loops okay so we have to get the individual loops the thing is that let us go back to the signal flow graph individual loops basically means what it basically means you have to start from a point where the node nodes you can see start from a node and you have to end back to that node only starting and ending point should be the same that is nothing but the loop okay start starting and ending point should be the same now here you have to find out the individual loops so we have got three individual loops loops for this one you can see observe here this is one loop see the direction i'm starting from this going towards this node then coming back to the same point right starting from this going to the, this is the first loop okay one loop i can consider next one more loop starting from here going to this coming back to the same point this is another loop see the direction okay direction you have to carefully see this i cannot i cannot consider because the direction is towards this side this i cannot consider as a loop but one more loop i can consider which is nothing but starting from this going from here to here then coming back to the same point this one this big one okay so that's what i have done here first loop second loop and third loop okay g4 h1 that is this one the 4 h1 is this one then second one that is nothing but this one okay this loop then the third one is the big one okay just observe this and this okay let us proceed so for that again you have to consider l1 l2 l3 loop 1 loop 2 loop 3 anyways you can consider this as loop 2 also it doesn't matter okay so loop 1 i have to write the gains i have to just multiply the gains that is g4 and this is minus h1 so minus i'll take it towards uh, like outside so g4 and h1 here also g3 g4 g5 and h2 here only g2 and minus h2 okay so this is loop 1 loop 2 loop 3 so individual loops you have to consider let us go for the next step that is to find out the delta value delta value is nothing but the in the denominator you might have seen in the formula we have delta see here this is the formula for transfer transfer function we have delta so in order to delta, uh, find out delta we have to um, we have one formula that is one minus sum of individual loop gains that is nothing but sum of all these individual loop gains plus carefully see the uh, formula summation of gain product of all possible combination of two non-touching loops this is important two non-touching loops minus summation of gain product of all possible combination of three non-touching loops like that it will proceed see here sign one then minus then here plus then minus then plus like that it will continue the thing is that first we are going for summation of individual loop gains then summation of gain product of two non-touching loops this we have to see two non-touching loops then three non-touching loops then four like that it will go so delta value will be one minus now summation of loop gains what is individual loop gains we have l1 l2 l3 so i have written directly l1 l2 l3 this thing values you have to write okay that i'll write in the next step 
that means in l1 you have to place this because you have to write the gains not the loop thing okay so you have to mention it as minus g for h1 for l1 like that this one this one that i'll write in the next step plus this one will do it now here we have two non-touching loops this you have to carefully understand two non-touching loop means it not it should not touch each other loops should not touch each other touch each other okay so we have discussed the integer loops now again you can see here first case this is one loop okay we have considered loop one and this was loop three correct loop one and loop three so when you consider loop one and loop three they both are not touching each other right nodes are not touching you can observe nodes are not touching anything nothing is touching so this is nothing but two non-touching loops non-touching in the sense it should not touch each other loops individual loops should not touch each other okay so we are considering two pairs here we have taken two loops now the thing is that they should not touch each other right but here these two loops are touching each other l2 and l3 are touching each other you can just observe here uh, l2 we had i'll just draw it okay so l2 we had this one this is nothing but g3 g4 okay and g5 nodes are there now l3 l3 is nothing but the the bigger loop that is this and this this is nothing but l3 correct so they both are touching each other right you can just observe this loop and this both loops are touching each other nodes are touching just observe the nodes itself they are touching each other right so this is not we cannot consider it as two non-touching loops okay the third case also is the same thing we cannot consider this as two non-touching loops since l2 and l1 loops i am considering see one loop is this l1 and this is the l2 loop but the thing is that nodes are touching see for the l2 these nodes are touching right so we cannot consider this as well as this so we can go for this that is l1 l3 now the thing is that one more we had in the formula we have we have written one minus summation of individual loops plus gain product summation of gain product so we have only two non-touching loops in case of three non-touching loops it is not possible only if you draw three loops together okay let us see the singular flow graph again three non-touching loop means we have totally three individual loops only so first loop this one second loop will be this one and third loop will be this one so they are touching each other so we cannot consider three non-touching loops so that we have to eliminate so minus that thing will be not there okay three non-touching loops is not there the one more thing is that we should not add this one l1 plus l2 we have to find out what was that gain summation of gain product product in the sense we have to multiply that thing okay so one minus i'm putting the value of l1 l2 l3 gains so that's what i have done here plus l1 l2 product see here this is the important thing product you have to take so i have multiplied these two and i have written the value simplified form that's it nothing else i have done minus into minus plus that's why it is plus rest all you can see minus of this bracket is important because minus we are taking outside inside whatever is there that i have to change the sign minus into minus plus minus into minus plus minus into minus plus like that so this bracket is very very important okay so this was the third step let us go to the fourth step in the fourth step we have to find out delta 1 and delta 2 so in the formula we have transfer function which is given by summation of uh, delta uh, sorry tk into delta k right by delta delta we found out delta k in the sense we have to find out it with respect to k how many k that, that means how many forward paths are there totally we had two so we have to find out for each forward path delta values delta 1 for t1 okay and delta 2 for t2 so with respect to t1 and t2 we have to find out so formula is given here delta 1 it will be the same formula as delta but some difference is there so 1 minus summation of sum of individual loop gains which are non-touching to t1 this is the important thing as i said delta 1 you have to find out with respect to t1 okay plus summation you can see in the delta formula also you can see over here delta formula we had the same thing but the thing is that there it was some sum of individual loop gains directly you have to write the loop gains but here it is sum of individual loop gains 
which are non touching to t1 that is the thing plus the same thing gain product of two non touching loops with respect to t1 that's all we will we'll discuss that thing the thing is that which individual loop is not touching t1 see we had t1 here which one was t1 t1 is this one t1 path for this we have to find out delta 1 correct so which individual loop is not touching this path all the loops are touching this path correct this l1 is touching uh, that means loop 1 this loop is touching this forward path this the bigger loop is touching forward path yes it is touching at any nodes you can see so it is touching that means there is no non-touching loops the thing is that we have to find out the non-touching loops to this one so that's why i have written the formula is 1 minus right so 1 minus that thing is not there if this thing is not there when no need to go for this thing that is nothing but if you are not getting non-touching loop for t1 itself from the individual loops then no need to go for this thing that is nothing but the gain product of two non-touching loops okay directly you can eliminate that thing plus this thing okay so this all is not there so delta 1 value will be most of the cases delta 1 value will be 1 itself okay next delta 2 value with the same formula but the thing is that we have to go for with respect to t2 so we have to see for t2 t2 loop any loop which is not touching to this you can see this l1 is not touching this loop l1 is here you can see this loop is not touching to this correct okay i will mark it with this different pen see here this loop is not touching to this forward path right you can see observe the node it is going from this to here like that it is starting from here it is going like this and going so this loop is not touching this forward path so i can write it as that's what i have drawn here this is the forward path t2 this is the loop l1 it is not touching to this okay so i can write it as delta 2 as 1 minus sum of individual loop gains right so only l1 is not touching so i can write it as l1 so for this 1 minus l1 value gains you have to put what is the l1 gain so this thing we have discussed l1 is minus g4 h1 okay that is nothing but 1 plus g4 h1 okay loop gain of l1 that's it now for plus plus one more thing is there gain product of two non-touching loops no thing is that two non-touching loops you cannot find out for this the simple thing because only one loop is not touching to this correct we have three individual loops in that only one loop is not touching to this so you cannot find out two non-touching loops with respect to t2 simple thing okay so we have to eliminate uh, this whole thing no need to write for this okay so let just we have t delta 2s this one now we have the last and the final thing that is mason's gain formula we have to apply so transfer function is equal to t1 delta 1 plus t2 delta 2 by delta 2. so basically transfer function we had the formula summation of delta k into del, uh, sorry tk into delta k by delta right so k we have delta uh, k value as 1 uh, sorry 2 2 that means forward parts we had 2 so we have to take it as t1 and delta 1 plus t2 and delta 2 that's why we had we have here t1 delta 1 plus t2 delta 2 by delta is uh, constant for all the problems okay constant in the sense for particular uh, all the formulas all the problems we have to write delta in the denominator it is fixed so transfer function i will just put the value of t1 what is t1 all the gains you have to put okay remember here only you will get g1 g2 uh, h1 all the things you will get that's it so t1 value i am putting here delta 1 was 1 then t2 value gains only gains you have to put okay then delta 2 then delta value uh, we had delta we have found out the delta value also right that we have to substitute here that's all that's all we have to do this is the final transfer function if you want you can just simplify this term also just uh, multiply with this also 